Mr. Bubba Shell. Good morning. So today we are actually just doing Dallas to Savannah, Georgia, and then we have an 18 hour layover. Yeah, I'm running a little bit behind schedule, so I'm gonna hurry up and start getting myself ready, packing my bags, and getting out the door. <laughs> Okay, so I just got to the airport and park. I'm excited. It's been like a week since I've flown because of some health issues with Bubba, which I actually filmed in a previous video that's probably gonna come out after this one. And you'll you'll see why, there's a reason for that. Let's go inside, check in, and let's have a good day, y'all, woo! <laughs> So I got my suitcase out of my truck and I headed inside to do my temperature screening and get through security. I then took the Skylink on over to get to the terminal where my gate was at. I put my stuff up on the plane. I was actually pretty excited that this was just gonna be the one flight over to Savannah and it was nice and easy. But once we got into the airport, we actually got lost trying to find where the shuttle pickup was gonna be. Yeah, we do that too. We have arrived. I guess I should take this off. Y'all, <laughs> please don't let this be the president of this layover but I broke a nail and I didn't bring my nail glue. But anyways, this hotel room is so cute. Let me show you. You walk in, this is the closet right here, but I have never seen this before. There's literally like a sink and you can get ready out here. It's kind of giving me like studio apartment vibes, but then the bathroom is in here with the shower and toilet, but I actually kind of like that. Here is like our get ready and it's kind of like out and about. We've got another mirror over here. We also have the double beds. All right, this is cute, this is cute. It is freezing in here though, so I don't know, 61 degrees. 61 degrees. <laughs> oh, look at this, there is an archway, and then you come down, and this is our view, it's so pretty. You gotta ignore the dumpster down there, but just stay over here, look at this. Let's go ahead and warm this bad boy up. It's kinda hard to read these numbers. We're going, uh, we'll do 74. So this is giving me pumpkin vibes, which is fine. I'm in a Halloween mood already, even though we're still in September. Okay, so I'm going to get ready. Uh, my friend Alana, who y'all are gonna meet her, kind of funny, so <laughs> hear me out. This is going full circle. So when I got out of training and I came onto the line out in Charlotte, Alana was one of the first people I flew with. We did training together and we flew some of our first trips together. So it's kind of full circle now that we're about to furlough together and we're on a trip again. She is fantastic, the sweetest thing ever. Okay, so I'm all ready. I kind of just wet my hair and hope for the best. <laughs> so I ended up packing this bag this time. So I just have my wallet, my camera stuff, basic necessities, and then I have my mask. So I think we're all good to go. Okay, so Alana just said she's ready. So we're gonna go knock on her door. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Look, oh. So we have arrived to the trailer park. I was looking at their menu and Alana said they have a cactus pear margarita. So I think that's where I'm doing to drink. Okay, so the margaritas just came out and they're so pretty. It's like a grilled fish tacos on corn. And then she got shrimp and grits tacos. They look really good. There's where we were sitting. And now it's definitely raining. <laughs> Okay, so we finished up over at Trailer Park after we got stupid rained on. <laughs> Cute, I didn't need to reset my curls, they'll reset themselves. So we got really rained on, so we just stayed and had a second drink. And now we were gonna go over to a market, but it closes at five. So the guy that worked at the bar said that we should go to a place that sells pralines, it's like a walk-up place. He didn't give us a name, he just gave us directions. So we're gonna go try and find it, and I think it's right in front of us. Look how pretty this is. So here's the waterfront and over here is a boat. I don't know if y'all can see it, 
but now we are down. This is giving me like hardcore New England vibes. So Alana and I ended up walking up and down River Street, just going into the shops and seeing what they had. We went into one place that's kind of known for their pralines. So we sampled some pralines and Alana got some to go. But honestly, the city is just so beautiful. It kind of reminds me of like a mix between like New Orleans and like a New England feel. But we just kind of enjoyed the atmosphere before we decided to go over to this park that's supposed to be beautiful. This heat is no joke. Do y'all see that? blood sweat and tears earned for this <laughs> I'm obsessed with these willow trees right here I just think they're stunning kind of reminds me of like Pocahontas with mother willow <laughs> and then I guess over here they have a plate that says like who the house was built for in the year it is kind of crazy because you're walking just through like a town and you can see there's so much history even if you don't know what it is so I'm kind of intrigued to go like look up and see like what kind of stuff we're passing okay knees to chest because we have one second left <laughs> this little alleyway. I'm not gonna stand in the road too long because there's a car behind me, but how pretty is that? We finally made it to the park. It is so green and so pretty. So we finished up at the park. We took some pictures and we're gonna post them to Instagram, which if you're not following me on Instagram, go follow my Instagram. But anyways, right now we are finally gonna head over for dinner. We are sticky, we are sweaty. We wanna eat and shower and chill. So we're gonna head over and find a nice dinner spot. Okay, so the ship is actually going now. And I think this is what we're gonna end up doing for dinner, because they have a rooftop by the water. Change of plans again. I think we've been walking around for about 30 minutes trying to find something that you can sit and see the ocean. Um, the last place, they had no more outdoor seating. So we are trying a place called Tubby's and seeing if this is going to work. So. Fingers crossed. Okay, so we got our seat at Tubby's. We're not quite on the rail, but we're as close as we can get, and there's already a boat coming in. Okay, so I ended up ordering another margarita. I haven't had it yet, so I don't know if it's good. Obviously, a big old glass of water. This is the second one because I'm so dehydrated. And then she got peach sangria. Look how yummy that looks. And then water, of course. <laughs> we're so cute. We're on the same side of the table, so we can both enjoy the view. <laughs> We got crab stew, and then we're also gonna split something together after this. Crab dip with French bread split. Oh my goodness. So the boat is coming back. So we just finished eating. I am so stuffed and sticky and gross. I am so ready to just go back to the hotel and take a long, hot shower. Okay, so I just showered, brushed my teeth. I've got this stuff on the charger, and guess what, y'all? I was like, this room is freezing cold. Like, how is this not getting warmer? Come on. What is this ghostly magic? I knew Savannah is haunted, but what is up with this? Not okay. Okay, we're gonna untuck the bed. Okay, y'all know the drill. These can go over here, and these can go over here. <laughs> Look how comfy that looks. <laughs> Time to call it a night. It's only 9.30, which is actually only um, 8.30. <laughs> Dallas time, but we have to get up at seven, which is six Dallas time. So we're going to bed super early. <laughs> okay, so today is day two of two. This is actually our long day. So today we are actually going back from Savannah to Dallas, and then we are doing a Texas twirl. So we are going from Dallas to Houston, and then coming right back from Houston up to Dallas. So we have about an hour now before shuttle time, so I guess it's time to start getting ready. So funny story, I actually saw this next to the bed. Um, I think this controls the thing over there and that can't control itself because it wouldn't get off 61 degrees for like three hours. So that was lovely. <laughs> I opened the curtain and this is our view. Lots of condensation. I don't know if it ended up raining last night, but woo. <laughs> okay, so I am officially ready. Now it is time to head downstairs. All right, last room checks. 
So I headed downstairs to meet with the crew and get on the shuttle and we headed for the airport. Once we got to the airport, we were actually looking for something to eat because we weren't really gonna have long sit times, but there really wasn't anything. But we did end up finding a Starbucks after security and got some coffee. And then we got onto the plane and got everything ready. And so then we landed in Dallas. So I ended up getting off. We are in Dallas right now. So we just came in from Savannah. Before we do our little Texas tour and go to Houston. But I ended up picking up a salad. So right now the cleaners have come on, the catering's come on, and we're just waiting for boarding. Okay, so here's my mess of a salad. It kind of spilled everywhere, but that's all right. Ah, oh, we made it! <laughs> Y'all, I'm already sweating and just ready to get out of this uniform. So let's head on home. Okay, so I just got home. Uh, I couldn't wait. I had to change and I'm hungry again. So I actually got Firehouse and I didn't even show y'all before I started eating. I got like a turkey sandwich with double turkey. Y'all, it's like inching up furloughs. I'm not ready. I'm really not ready. I'm trying to pick up as much flying as possible, but there just hasn't been much but keep your fingers crossed for me but i do have some trips coming up regardless if i can get more trips or not but if you did enjoy this video go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up press that subscribe button and leave me a comment and i will see you guys next time because i'm gonna go finish my sandwich <laughs>